If for any reason you want to migrate your WordPress blog post from one website to another, this video is for you. Because in it, I'll show you how to export and import WordPress post. I'll even show you how to export and import WordPress post with featured images. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. If you try to export and import WordPress blog post from one website to another, chances are high that featured images will not be part of the imported blog post. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go through this process so that at the end of the day, you will have all your featured images imported. First of all, I will show you how you can export and import without the featured images. That is if you just use the default WordPress export and import feature. And I will later show you how you can do the importation with your featured images included. But before we go through the step-by-step -step tutorial, let me show you the two websites from where we are going to be exporting and the other websites to which we are going to be importing. So this is the first website where we are going to do the exportation. And this is the second website where we are going to import our blog post onto. Now, if I go to the first website where I have my blog post and go over to the blog post page, in this case, news, you see all the blog posts right here with their featured images. Now, if I go to the back end of the same website, you see the various blog posts and you see that the number is six. If I go over to the fresh website where I don't have any blog post, then I click on the blog page. You see that there's no single blog post right here. We can confirm that by going to the back end. Then we go over to post. You see that we don't have any single blog post here. So let's go ahead and go through the process of exporting and importing. To do that, I go over to the back end of the first website. Take note the URL for the first website is demo.jikupagesweb.com and where we are going to be importing to the URL is plugins.jikupagesweb.com. So going back to the first website where we have our blog post, the first thing we are going to do is go over to tools, then we click on export. From here under choose what to export. At the moment, all content is selected and we are not interested in exporting all content. If you select all contents, it means that all posts, images, landing pages, and all what you see here will be exported. And that is not what we are looking for. So we are going to go ahead and select post. After selecting post, you will be presented with these parameters. You can choose to export some categories that you want. For this, I'm going to export all categories. You can choose to export content from a particular author. In this case, I have only one author. So if you have more than one authors and you want to export blog posts pertaining to a particular author, you go ahead and select that author. In my case, I only have one author. So I go ahead and select the author. Or if there are many authors and you want to export all, you make sure all is selected. You even have the opportunity to select start date and then end date. One thing I will advise you on start date and end date is that if you have some substantial amount of blog posts, I'll advise you to export them selecting start date and end date so that you don't have to export everything at once. Sometimes when you export bulky blog posts, you may encounter some errors. So I'll advise you to export based on months instead of exporting all the blog posts at once. In my case, I only have some six blog posts, so these parameters are not really important. Next is status. In here, you have the option to select only published blog posts, scheduled blog posts, drafts, and the rest of them. So choosing any of these take note will depend upon the particular category you want to export. For now, I'll just leave it as all. Then going down, I click on download export file. And my file is downloading right here. All right, it is downloaded. So next thing I do is go over to the new website. That is plugins.decoupagesweb.com. Then I go over to tools. This time around, instead of export, I'll click on import. Inside the import interface, you see all these plugins you can go ahead and use on your website. And the one we are going to be using is WordPress, where we can import posts, images, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags from WordPress export file. So we go ahead and install now. It is installed. Then we run the importer. 
In here, you'll be given the opportunity to browse and choose your file. So I'll just click on browse. I have my exported file in my download folder. I will just select it. Then I click on open. And you see that it is right here. Then I go ahead and click on upload file and import. From here, you'll be asked to assign authors. The name of the author on this new website is the same as the name of the author on the old website. So in my case, I don't really need to do any big thing. However, if in your case, you have different authors here, you have the opportunity to select whichever author you want to assign the blog post to. Since I have one here, I'll just go ahead and select the author. Next, I want to import all attachments. So I click on download and import file attachments. With this feature selected, if you have some images as part of your blog post, they will be all imported onto the new website. But take note that featured images may not be imported. So we click on submit. All right, all done. Have fun, meaning all the posts are being imported. Now let's go over to post. And you see that we have six blog posts on the new website. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now, if I try to edit any of the blog posts in here, if we go over to featured image, you see that we don't have any featured image right here. Even if we go to the front end of our website, that is the new website, and we go over to blog page, you see that there are no featured images as part of our blog post. So this tells us that when you simply use the default export and import feature in WordPress, you may not have some of your images exported or imported. One thing I want you to take notice is that the website from which I am exporting, I'm using the Bloxy team and the website I am importing onto, I'm using Astra team. So I'm not really sure if this problem has to do with the particular teams I am using. If you are using some other teams and you are able to export and import with your featured images and other media included, let me know those teams in the comments down below. So now let's see how we can export and import so that we get all our featured images and other media. So going back to the old website, next we go over to the WordPress dashboard. To be able to export and import our blog post so that we get all the featured images and other media, we need to install a plugin. And this is the plugin we are going to install, export media with selected content. So what I'm going to do is copy the name of the plugin. I'll leave link to this page in the description down below. So I go back to the back end of my website. Next, I go over to plugins, click on add new. Take note, we are installing the plugin on the old website. This is very important. Under search plugins, I just go ahead and paste in the name of the plugin. And I have the plugin right here. The last update of the plugin was three months ago. However, it is untested with the current version of WordPress. So in order to be at a safer site before installing this plugin, I will advise you to make a backup of your website. If you want to know how to back up your WordPress website, I have a link in the description down below that will walk you through step by step as to how you can do that. I've already tried the plugin, it's working pretty fine. So I'll go ahead and install now. It is installed, I activate. Now the plugin is activated successfully. Next, let's go over to tools. Then we go ahead and click on export. From here, we select post. We've already gone through all these parameters. I'm not going to repeat them. Going down, you now see this new feature that is export media with selected content. So we go ahead and select it. We are getting this as a result of the plugin we have just installed. So we click on download export file and we have the new file right here. Take note, this is what we are going to be importing. That is the one with number one attached to it when we go to the new website. So next, we head over to the new website. Now let's head over to tools and we click on import. Going down, here we don't need to install the WordPress importer plugin. It's already installed. We just go ahead and run importer. Then we go ahead and browse for our file. Take note, this is the file we are going to select, the one with number one attached. This is the old one. So upon selecting, I click on open. Then I go ahead and upload file and import. I will go ahead and assign the author 
then I choose to download and import file attachment. Then I go ahead and click on submit. All right, the importation is done. Next, let's head over to post. And you see that we have all our blog posts here. Now, if I go to the front end, at the moment, we don't see any featured images. Let's go ahead and refresh our website and see what we'll get. Perfect. Now we have the featured images as part of our blog post. Awesome. And this is as a result of this particular plugin right here. So that's it on how to export and import WordPress blog post from one website to another with featured images included. Now, if you want to learn how to create a digital agency website, make sure you click on the video on your screen right now. And I'll walk you through step by step as to how you can create your own digital agency website. Keep watching and I'll see you inside that video.